after the lights are out. Oh, where are they? George, can you see them? No, Eddie. Are you sure it was this flight? Yes, Eddie. Well, look, for goodness sake, look for them. Yes, Eddie. Oh, won't they be knocked out that we've come to the airport to meet them? <laughs> Just knocked out. After all, it's not as if we were family. It's it only friends. That's right, Eddie. Hey! Hey, is that them over there, George? No, I don't think so. Oh, golly, there's so many people here. You'll be here, Eddie. But like I said, when you come back from a tour like they've made, it's such an anticlimax just arriving and no one there to meet you. Yes, Eddie, that's what you said. I guess I'll have masses of movies to show. Don't you think I'll have masses of movies to show, George? I guess they will, Eddie. There they are. Where? Oh, yes, you're right. George, it is them. Hello there. Hello, Henry. Millie. Millie, Hello. Millie, honey. Hello. Oh, hi, Henry. It's okay, Eddie. You don't have to yell. They've seen us. Oh, my. They look so fit and tan. Don't they look tan, George? Yes, Eddie. Come on, let's go over. Huh? Millie, Millie, honey. You're looking so tan and fit. <laughs> Have you had a marvelous time? It's too wonderful to see you. Eddie, darling, I don't believe it. You mean you and George actually came to the airport to meet us? Oh, how dear of you. <laughs> Hi, Henry. Hi. Did you have a lovely Hi, holiday? Yes. Good to You're see you. Great. Yeah, you. Wonderful. You had a good trip, did you? Yeah, very good. Uh, we thought we'd save you catching cabs and give you a welcome home, sort of. Huh? We appreciate it, George. Where's your stuff? Uh, here. It's it's all here. Say, I, I see you brought back some souvenirs, huh? Oh, the spear. Well, you know, got to have something to hang over the mantle. Might have gone to Miami if we hadn't brought back some genuine New Guinea tourist trade mass-produced out of Paris. Right, right. <laughs> Is this all your baggage, Millie? Oh, yeah. Henry, you got the camera and things, haven't you? Yes, Millie. And he's taken some marvelous movies, Addie. Just marvelous. Oh, I can't wait for you to see them. I can't wait either, Millie. Say, should we find the car, or do you girls want to spend all day gabbing at the airport? Oh, oh George, really, it's so wonderful to see them both again. I want to hear all about everything. Well, you, you've now, got time Millie. to talk later. Mm -hmm. uh, Henry, you give me the big bag and the grip. Uh, the car's over this way. And the food. Honestly, Addie, I can't begin to tell you about the food. I put on far too much weight. John says, Millie, you look wonderful. Quite wonderful. You've got the most marvelous tan. Well, with those beaches and the sun, I tell you, I hated changing from my swimsuit in the evening. Henry got some wonderful pictures of me swimming and surfing and sunbathing. You know. When are you going to show us your movies, Henry? Oh, are they... Only holiday stuff. Of course you're going to show us, Henry. Just as soon as you're settled down again, you're going to ask us over and we'll have a movie evening. Okay, Millie? Well, there are some wonderful shots of Cannes <gasps> and Istanbul and yeah. Draycott. That's our own special Greek island. Hardly anyone ever goes there. And what about New Guinea? That's what I really want to see. Was it different, Henry, from when you were there in the war? Well, Maybe? it was a quieter at it. Oh! <laughs> New Guinea was the most wonderful place I've ever been to. Oh, Addie, we met such marvelous people. In all town, you mean? No. There was this guy, Peter. What a man. He's like a young Greek god, tall and bronze and so helpful. He just made New Guinea for me. Honestly, really? What did Henry say? Henry was so busy with his old cameras, he didn't have a moment to spare for me. My, isn't that odd? Odd? Being back home. No waving palm trees. No white beaches. I guess it'll take a while to adjust. Oh, but you've got the movies to remind you, haven't you, Millie? Oh, yes, we've got them. <laughs> Henry, we've just got to have Addie and George round soon. Yes, Millie. Have you got pictures of this guy, Peter? Mm hmm? Oh, I bet I have. I have some in my bag that Henry doesn't know about. I can't wait to see them. Really, how about giving a sort of talk, you know, a lecture to the garden club? Show Henry's movies and talk about your trip. The girls would just love it. You think they would? Yes. You you don't think they'd be bored with our <laughs> silly old vacation movies? Of course they wouldn't. Henry, you hear that? Pop, Millie. 
Addy says we should show our movies to the Garden Club. Make it like an illustrated lecture. Yeah, we could do that. And of course, we'll have to ask Mom around and Vera and Bill and your brother and his family. I guess you'll have all your evenings full, Henry. Showing your movies. Guess I will, George. Have you seen them yet? No, I, I got them processed, but I didn't take my projector on the trip. Had enough junk to carry. Well, I'm going to call the Garden Club president first thing tomorrow and tell her to arrange an afternoon. But George and I won't come. I want to see your movies in your home. You shall, Addie. You shall. You're sure you've got the movies in the proper order? Yes, Millie. The south of Grand first, then the Greek <laughs> islands, then Turkey and Iran and India. And then New Guinea, yes, Millie, I'm sure. Oh, dear, I feel so nervous. All these people. Why? You rehearsed your spiel enough. I've heard nothing else. I had to. Oh, you'll be fine. Mrs. Holdsworthy, I do believe we're ready. Are you? Oh, dear, Henry, will you get things in the right order, won't you? Yeah, Molly, yeah. Okay, then, here goes. Ladies and gentlemen, of course. Right, right, right. Uh, and I think it's so wonderful of all you husbands to be here this afternoon. After all, you've all seen hundreds and hundreds of vacation movies. Only uh, this trip that Henry and I made, well, uh, perhaps uh, it was rather special. <laughs> Ready, Henry? Yes, Millie. Go on, then. Get to the projector. Yes, dear. We flew from here to Paris, France. Oh, but you all know Paris, France, so we won't bore you with the pictures of the Eiffel Tower or the Arc de Triomphe. Then we hired a car and traveled down through the wine country... My husband has a deep interest in wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we were lucky enough to meet the owner of a small but most exclusive vineyard. Henry. All right, Millie. Now, here you can see a little me walking with the owner through the vineyard. Have you ever seen such rows of grapes? And here I am now, Don Lukov, where the wine is matured. Such a rich experience. Now, this is the high spot of our entire tour. We saw a secret ceremony in New Guinea. The board men. I won't say a word. Just watch as we did. See the fantastic headdresses they wear, dancing round the fire, brandishing their spears. The high spot of our trip. This? I wish we'd never seen it. I wish I hadn't persuaded that flabby womanizer to take us there. <laughs> there, there they are. Pity we couldn't get closer. Pity I forgot the telephoto lens, too. Yeah. I thought those bushes we were hiding in would give them prey. Nothing I could do about it, though. What? What's that? Who's that man? I, I don't remember him. I certainly don't remember shooting anything in close up. What's happening? I feel. I feel as though the, the walls were. Moving there, closing in. That smell? Ash, tropical flowers. What the heck's happening? Mr. Hosworthy, the ceremony of the Gordman is one thing you cannot fill. You dare not. If they knew you had seen them, they would go back into the jungle and refuse to come out. And if they knew that a woman was there, they would kill her. The ceremony is forbidden to women. Forbidden. I'm sorry, but you mustn't ask me to take you to it. There's that praise again. That towering headdress, the spear, he's... He's so close, almost looking at me. Looking at me. Looking for me. I'm going to think... The smell of flowers, the 
face. Henry! Henry, that's the end. The what? The end, Henry. Switch off the projector. Oh, thank you, everybody. Thank you all so much. It's been such a pleasure showing you our movie. You've all been so appreciative. And our refreshments will be served in the lobby. What the heck went wrong? Why was there that face looking at me? I don't remember him when I shot the movie. The flowers. Henry, for goodness sake, what's the matter with you? Standing there like a great goop. It was a great success. They were all knocked out. You should be pleased. Are you all right? Millie, we should never have filmed those good men. I knew it was wrong. Nonsense. It's wonderful stuff. So colorful and different. It's the best thing in the entire movie. Did you see that face? Face? The old man's face. I In close-up. Sure. He was the chief. Wasn't it all exciting? It was my speech all right? I didn't leave anything out, did I? They liked the jokes I made. Did you notice? Millie, could you smell the flowers? Flowers? Well, I, I was running the movie. Of course. Look at them all around the hall. Banks and banks of flowers. Beautifully arranged. Now, come on, Henry. Put everything in the car and come to the lobby. She doesn't know what I'm talking about. She didn't notice anything wrong with the movie. But there was something hideously wrong. Mr. Roseworthy, the ceremony of the bird men is something so secret that it has never been filmed and has never been seen by any woman. If a woman sees it, she will die. I will take you there if you keep well hidden. But I will not take your wife there. The danger is too great. I'm scared. Plain, old-fashioned scared. I'm going to bed, Henry. You coming? Soon. Soon, Millie. It really was a great success this afternoon. The movie and my talk, they all enjoyed it. Yes, Millie. Henry, what's the matter with you? You've been so quiet ever since we came back from the Garden Club. Millie, didn't you notice anything about the movie? What do you mean? Notice? I think it's a wonderful movie. Addie and George just love it. We we can't show it to them. We can't show it to anyone else. What do you mean? Of course we can show it to them. And to Mom and the family. No! Now, don't be an old grouch, Henry. You were great this afternoon, too. I shouldn't have been able to cope without you. Oh, come on to bed now. No, no, you go, Millie. I'll just... Well, there's... There's something I want to do. To the movie? Yeah, some editing. Okay. Don't be too long. I'll make us some coffee. Oh, thanks, Millie. I've got to rerun that movie. I've got to cut out that old man's face. It oughtn't to be there. I never shot it like that. Well, I'll run it through again. Cut him right out. Uh, everything will be all right again. Funny that that smell of flowers this afternoon. Different flowers, a, a jungle smell. Nothing to do with the flowers in the hall. I remember that day so clearly. Persuading Peter what's his name to take us to see the good man. He didn't want to, I'll say that for him. He said all along that Millie shouldn't go. I shouldn't have let her. Mr. Holsworthy, it may be safe for you to go, if you do as I tell you and keep right out of sight. But for your lovely wife, it would be madness. Okay, then, Peter. You and I'll go. Plus camera. No, you must keep your camera hidden also. If the guard men know they are being spied on, they will be angry and, and anything might happen. I'm ready, Henry. She must not come with us. Hello, Peter. Ah, Mrs. Holdsworthy. Oh, my. I just adore having my hand kissed. 
So gallant. Uh, Millie, I, I guess you'll have to stay behind on this trip. Stay behind? Oh, uh, lovely, madame. It will be a long walk, and you'll become tired. Nonsense, Peter. I'm never tired. It is not safe for you. If Henry can go, so can I. Mr. Holtz, would you please... Millie, he says the Girdmen don't like women watching their ceremony. They won't know I'm there. Millie. Of course I'm coming with you. Now, Peter, don't be a silly. I'll be as quiet as a mouse. I shan't be seen. I shan't be heard. We'll all have a lovely time, and Henry will take a wonderful movie. <sighs> what can I say, Mr. Holtzworthy? Nothing, Peter. She'll come. We shan't be able to prevent her. Now get your camera gear and your lenses, and let's go. It's getting dark now, so I won't take my camera. No, Mr. Hose, will you know me? Stay here. You are hidden by the bush here. But, Peter, then we won't be able to get close-ups from here. It doesn't matter. Oh, but you've got the telephoto lens, haven't you? They look so picturesque, don't they? Dancing around the fire. Keep quiet, Millie. I'm not making a noise. Anyway, they couldn't hear me with all their singing. Get those feathers. And the makeup they wear. No, right? don't jog my elbow, Millie. I'm shooting. Oh, Peter, I think you're just darling bringing us to see this. It's too exciting. Oh, look at the way they leap. Makes me want a giant pin. No. Mrs. Holdsworthy, stay where you are. If they see you, oh, I see her. I don't let your hand off my arm. It's so comforting. And we can't see. It would be more comforting, perhaps, if I put it around the waist. Oh, Peter. How could you say I wasn't coming with you this evening? So far, so good. There's the circle of dancers. Fire in the center. Everything's quite normal. No. No, it isn't. I can smell the flowers again. And the room's... The room's changing shape. It was in Pretty cold. Clammy cold. It's horrible, but... I can't stop looking. I'll see the old man in a moment. He'll be... Looking at me. Yes. Yes. Here he comes. No! Get away! That spear! Take it away! There's only one thing to do. Destroy the whole film. Get rid of it in entirely. Henry, was that you shouting? Is something wrong? Uh, no, no, no. It's nothing, Millie. You go back to sleep. You're not still fussing over the movie, are you? I, I, I won't be long. You're I, overtired, Henry. You'll come to bed right now. Come along. Now leave those things just as they are. You can tidy up in the morning. No, uh, there's something I have to do, Millie. Not now. You'll do as I say and come to bed. I absolutely insist. <laughs> That dress, it's too marvelous. You like it? I got it in New Guinea, just a little store, but they had some wonderful things. I can't tell you how excited George and I are about seeing your movie, Henry. We've been talking of nothing else, haven't we, George? Yes, I think. George, uh, you need another drink. I do, Henry. That spear looks good, Henry. Where do you say you got it? New Guinea. That was the day after we beat this marvelous secret ceremony. Secret ceremony? Oh, Millie, you didn't do tell. Millie, no. Henry. Oh, Henry means that uh, you'll have to wait till we've seen the movie. It is spoiled if I told you about it before. <laughs> now, uh, drink up and we'll have some dinner. I've made something special tonight. I've got the recipe. I and, know, uh, in New Guinea. That's right. <laughs> oh, I know you're wonderful. <laughs> George, you, you really want to see this movie? You heard, Eddie? We've been talking to nothing else. Why? Oh, I don't know. Other people's vacation films, you know, they, they can be so boring. I heard it went down a bomb with the garden club the other afternoon. Oh, well, it was, well, it was okay. Millie's got his spiel all worked out, too, huh? Yeah. yeah. Come along, you men. Dinner's spoiling. No, you go on, George. I'll be there in a minute. Oh, just as you say, Henry, uh, 
Okay, you girls, uh, where's the long pig? Oh, huh? George, you are long pig, George. Something terrible is going to happen if I show the movie again. I'll see the old man's face again. I, I'll smell the flowers, feel cold. I won't be able to stop it. If a woman witnesses the ceremony of the good men, she will be killed. Mr. Holdsworthy, don't let your wife come with us. Keep her away. Henry! Oh, for goodness sakes! Coming, Millie. Millie, that was the most delicious dinner, and so different. George, wasn't it a different kind of dinner? Yes, Eddie. Uh, give me your glass, George. Uh, thanks, Henry. Short one, just to the top of the glass. No, it's yours. You are awful. Millie, <laughs> really, isn't it just awful? Addie, did I tell you about the time in Cairns when I was spotted by the sheik? Sheik? Millie, no. And you know what he wanted? He wanted to buy me for his home. Oh, Millie. He was a waiter <laughs> from an eastern restaurant. Oh, right. And in Istanbul, I was followed by two of the most sinister men you can imagine. Millie, how terrifying. Can you... Well, you can guess what they wanted, of course. <laughs> oh, I thought that sort of thing didn't happen these days. Oh, believe me, it does. I ran all the way back to the hotel. They only wanted to sell her a carpet. Oh, yeah. Honestly, <laughs> Millie, you'd be a riot to travel oh. with. Henry, isn't she a riot? Yeah. <laughs> A riot. Well, Henry, come on. We want to see the movie. Well, how about another drink first, We've eh? all got one. you got the screen up, the projector's ready. The... I put the film in myself. What are we waiting for? I wish I knew. I wish I didn't know. Oh, Henry, please, we're dying to see it, aren't we, George? Uh, just a short one, Henry. George, help yourself, won't you? Before Henry turned the lights out... After they're out, you'll have to sit down and watch the movie and listen to silly little old me. <laughs> After the lights are out, terror begins. Now you're going to show us the whole thing, aren't you, from the very beginning of your trip. We're showing you the New Guinea one first. It's far and away the best Henry's ever made. Okay, Henry, can I turn the lights out? I suppose so. Just let me sit down. All right, Henry. Let her roll. Oh, honestly, Millie, the things you say. Now, this is the most exciting part, where we saw the secret family of the gourd men. We hid in the bushes and watched them dancing. Look, there's the fire, and there they are dancing. It's starting. The smell of flowers, the cold creeping up from the floor. Of course, this marvelous guy, Peter, was with us. We were never in any danger. Now look at it. They wear these fantastic feathered headdresses. And they wave their spears just like the spear we got on our wall. Oh, it's such a pity you can't hear that chanting. Too much. Oh, Millie, it's marvelous. Of course, the telephoto lens makes everything seem so much closer. There was no telephoto lens. It's all happening again. There's the old man again. Millie, look at that face. He doesn't have to look for me any longer. He knows I'll be there. Again. He's coming closer. And there's another face looking over his shoulder. I can't stand it. Millie, those faces as if they were looking at us. Henry, something's wrong. I can't stop it, Millie. Those men, they're raising their spears. Henry, they're coming out of the street. No! They're coming out of the Harry, get down! Get down! <laughs> Millie and Addie were killed, of course. And the fingerprints on the spears were never identified. This has been Springbok Theater of the Air. Join us again for more tales of suspense, drama, romance, comedy, and true life adventure in Springbok Theater of the Air.